Delivery. Wait, hang on. I've got a delivery. All right. Vic Windsor, you placed an order. Is he around? I'd like to welcome everyone to the first annual conference of 1999. <laughs> as long as I'm in welcoming mood, let's hear it for our latest family member, Tinker Belding. I'd also like to welcome back into the fold, Marlon. Yeah. May you be proud to call yourself a dingle. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yep, thanks. No bother. And now, to the main reason why I asked us all here. Zach, I thought we'd agreed about this. It's all right, look. These filthy things will not be smoked around my beautiful baby girl. Do you understand? Hmm? <laughs> you see, we're all going to have to make changes. Melanie's looking after, and we're all going to have to pull our weight. <sighs> aye, aye. Here we go. What's that supposed to mean? Well, Dad, um, every time you use the word we, it always ends up being everybody except you. Oh, no. I told you, I'm the one that's earning, so if you want me to stay at home, you are going to have to get out there and match my take-home pay. Lisa, my sweetheart, you are quite wrong. I am the one who's staying at home. I am the one who is going to look after our child. All I ask is that you support me in my task. Because I'm going to be a house husband. A new man, no less. <laughs> Twelve leaps, seventy-fives. Twelve or seventy shots, seventy-fives. Hop, one time, six and a hang half. Hang on a minute, hang on. Leib, where's that? Third from the bottom. Hiya. Everything all right? Fine. Why? No reason. I was just... Did you get the hock? Morning. I didn't realise you was open. Oh, thank goodness you are, though, cos I'm desperate for some tea bag. The hock? I really don't need this right now. Make yourself useful. I'm gonna have a bath. Uh, look, uh, give us a minute, mate, and I'll sort it out. OK. Uh, what was it you wanted, Betty? Only I don't think Viv is opening today. Oh, right. Well... Tea bags? Come on in. <laughs> Down, love. Get Jean some paddy. I'll pick him. It's Jean tea for Kim. Can I join you? You'd be the only one round here who wants to. Paddy's getting the drinks in. Thanks. So, how are things? I could lie and say fine, or I could tell the truth and risk you sitting somewhere else. <sighs> Try me. Oh, it's nothing really. I I just want to get this court case over with. As long as there's a question mark over my involvement with Cathy's accident, people are giving me a severely wide berth. Not everyone. You are in the minority, Zoe. Just a few more weeks and everything will be back to normal. I hope so. Is Mandy not here yet? I told you, she phoned earlier and said there's some meeting off something at her house. Oh, that'll be a dingle conference. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, well, what with Baby Bell and, and Marlon's back in the fold now, Zach will be putting on his head of the family act and laying down the law. All right, it's not going to be too late. Doesn't sound like you miss it. What, Zach acting like Genghis Khan? No, thank you very much. That's the side of not seeing Mandy anymore that I am very, very happy with. Is that the only good thing? Well, seeing and going out with your mates again, that's good fun. And Mandy's lovely and she's cracking laughing that, but if you go out with a dingle, you go out with your family, don't you? I hate it when people get into a couple and forget about their mates. No, that's not going to happen again, because friends are far more important than a kiss and a cuddle. I'm with you on that one. Well, my solicitor's very confident, which I'm happy about, because I'm a bag of nerves, even though I'm innocent. Should you be talking to a material witness? She's not. She's talking to her stepdaughter. Now go away. Well, not before I bought Kim a drink. Could be my last chance to be generous. Except a Christmas card when she's in prison. I don't need your generosity or your snide comments. Thanks for the chat, Zoe. Maybe I'll see you later. Something I said. Not you, Paddy, no. What about the drink? I love it. Get rid of the bad taste. You're such a saint, Zoe. Go on, Laura, sit down. I'll get us around him. Seems such a cruel thing to do to one so cute, doesn't it? 
making Uncle Zack a mother. <laughs> <laughs> he won't last a day. You going now, village? Mm. I want we. I've got to ask Cathy for some time off. I need some time to get Lynn back. <sighs> She's not going to give you time off for that. Don't worry. I'll come up with some brilliant excuse. You sure you wanted this cut and dry? Yeah. I thought that's what you wanted. One of us just stayed home and look after it behind you, didn't they? Until they want to bring home the door, eh, me? Well, I'm happy, but... Um... Worried, too. No, not worried. Concerned. Yeah, well, you can take your concern and your worries and you can <coughs> stop them. Because I'm her dad and I'm more than capable of taking care of her. Ah, uh, you're all man, you. See you later. What? Are you off your trolley or what? Why? Dad, have you any idea what you've just let yourself in for? Looking after a baby? Listen to that. That golden silence is what I'm setting myself up for. for. Women have been conning us for years. <laughs> Standing home with the kids. Standing home with the chelly and feet up, more like. <laughs> Lisa's just given me licence to never have to work again. <laughs> so, what are you up to then? If I'm opening up shop tomorrow, I'll have to go to the cash and carry. Right. You got time to come with me? Of course. Only I really can't face driving that thing. Empty shack and a pint and a half lag when you got a minute. How about be a sec? So, what are you up to tonight? I don't know. Uh, why? To prevent me going blind from boredom. What do you mean? Well, I hate waiting around in between shifts. Granddad's really sweet and everything, but his idea of excitement is getting the conundrum right on countdown. <laughs> oh, why don't you come out with us? Where to? Well, we're going to shoot each other all night long. <laughs> we're off to laser blast. Oh. Yeah, I used to play it loads, but uh, Rachel here, I think she can ambush me. I'm very cunning, you know. Yeah, you want to be with the tenor on it. <laughs> oh, such high stakes, eh? You kids today know how to live it up, don't you? So, what do you reckon, then? <coughs> it beats going blind with boredom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm off that. Definitely. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought what to do with the car yet. Give it to Scott. Yeah, I suppose. But what about Kelly? She is Vic's daughter. And maybe Scott won't think it's cool enough. Vic loved this car. <laughs> I don't suppose there'll be any argument over his music collection. I don't miss him, Terry. Not like I'm supposed to. I mean, I miss him not being there for the delivery going to the cash and carry. I miss the partnership, not being in his team, but... not him. Not Vic. You will. I don't think I'll ever miss him as much as I missed you when we split up. Don't. Last night, I cried myself to sleep, not because of Vic, but because I think I'm such a terrible person. Grief affects everybody differently. It'll get better. If you really want to help, then I think we could help each other. How? Well, you hate your job and I need help in the shop. Perfect solution. Oh, I don't know. It would come with a full wage. And you could stay with us. Get you out of Betty's. How about it? Come and work at the post office. in for lunch. Uh, well, he was. He's gone back to home farm. Oh. Can I help? No, it's nothing. Just fancied a break. Well, would you like to join us? Yeah, thanks. Actually, I'm glad you're here. I've been meaning to have a word. Oh, really? I know how brilliant you've been helping with Chris's new business. It's been exciting. I haven't seen Chris as full of energy in ages. I just wanted to say thank you. You've been a really good friend to him. Thanks. There you go. 
You'd probably know. The, the, the new owner of Home Farm, uh, what's her name? Stella, isn't it? W weren't she moving in? How should I know? Well, I thought you were... Well, I really don't know what I thought you were. We had an arrangement. I acted as her agent. None of your business if she'd been in touch or not. Oh! I just can't figure it out. Either she knows Chris wants her back and she's happy about that prospect. Oh, they had a very shaky marriage. I can't think that she'd want to rush back oh, in. Well, she it. hasn't got the foggiest. In which case, she must be very dim. Well, he's not dim. Well, not really. And she might be a pretty little thing. Oh. But Chris needs a challenge. He can't keep playing these silly games. He needs a future. And a future with a woman who's his intellectual equal. Do you really think that Chris wants to get back with Cathy? Well, he's going to need somewhere to live. Home farm's been sold. Cathy wouldn't see him out in the street. Oh, none of us would. But I think moving back with Cathy would be a terrible step backwards. Hmm, maybe you're right. In which case, one of us should tell him. What would I say? Pretty much everything you've just told me. Come on, plastic princess, you can do it! <laughs> Quiet, Bell, I can't hear! Go on, beauty, go on! <laughs> Donkey! <laughs> That's it. I've been thinking about what you said. I could hear your brain ticking over. Well, I'll only be next door at Betty's. And if you need any help at all... But? But I don't think it'd work any other way. What wouldn't... Us. I mean, we tried it before. Shouldn't put ourselves through that again. Are you under the impression that I want us to get back together? No. Well, don't you? I've got a house full of teenagers, Terry. What I need is a grown-up, a sensible grown-up, to help me in the shop. You would get a wage, somewhere to sleep, and absolutely nothing else. That's my offer. It's just that you said... I said what? Well, about us being a good team. You're missing me. I've just buried my husband, you insensitive idiot. It's all right, I can manage this lot. Thanks for your help. Are you sure? Yeah. Terry, think about the job. It will be a good thing for both of us. This is a fat ribbon of Guy Nixon Memorial Bars. Eckiest is one of the first to show no. coming towards it with well no, timed. No, sweet baby bell. Colours over the first there. <laughs> now, Lisa's Lisa back. Silverino, now, I really need back. you to stop crying. <laughs> Please. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, come on, love. <laughs> Mummy's coming. <laughs> Ooh, sh 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 sh. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, is it that time already? Yeah. <laughs> I finished a bit early, so I thought I'd come back and help you. Help? <laughs> help with what? <laughs> with Belle. Well, this little angel. <laughs> oh, we've been absolutely fine, haven't we, Princess? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheers, Mum. That smells great. You're welcome. Ta. When did you tell Zoe you were going back to the vets? I didn't. She said I should take as long as I need. Mm. Because I've decided to open up the shop tomorrow. I had hoped to open up today, but I've got no help from you two whatsoever. OK. I'll out tomorrow. And that goes for you as well. You've had a very easy ride since you got out of the army. It's time to muck in. I said I would. I've also asked Terry to work here. Terry? I'm not doing my shifts with him. OK. But I expect you to be polite to him, especially if he decides to move in. Move in? Well, he can't stay at Betty's forever. Yeah, well, he's not staying here. Well, it's only for a short while, until he sorts himself out. Mm. Till he sorts you out, you mean? Oh, Kelly. Dad's been dead barely a week, and you mm. move your old lover in? It's not like that. You make me sick. I always thought you were a mad cow, but this is unbelievable. It's not like that! You've really got to admit that's how it looks. Well, I don't care how it looks. You lounge around till all hours. She has a moody every other day. I need help. He's a friend. 
I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. Where are you going? To find Kelly. There's not much breathing room in these, is there? Come here. How long do you reckon Kelly's going to be off work? Uh, I don't know. Zoe's been quite flexible about it. Well, long enough to get someone else in? Yeah, I reckon so. Why? Do you know anyone? Yeah, me. Oh, I thought you were going to start concentrating on your mocks. Yeah, I'm more than capable of doing both. And anyway, I'm planning to go to agricultural college, so it looked really good on my CV. Well, pop round the vets tomorrow and see what the crack is. Thanks. So, have you two ever done this before, then? No, I've done a bit of paintballing, you know, on the army bases and that. Greg. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna get shot over and over. Well, the team leader reckons it's all about hiding, like a sniper. <laughs> Hi. Where you got to. Sorry, we're late. We'll just get kitted up and then uh, let battle commence. Yes? Has anybody ever told you what a wonderful employee you are? No, not recently. Because you are. Well, nothing much, except, well, as a top employer, you must realise it's essential that your staff are stretched. Forty breakfast and the early morning rush not enough for you, then? No, 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 I mean, er, uh, mentally stretched. Get to the point. I happen to be very interested in the law. In fact, I'm thinking of taking a few night classes to improve me, er, uh, well, lay knowledge. What lay knowledge? I'm a fountain, right, and it's all bubbling away with nowhere to pour. <laughs> except out your mouth. What is it you actually want, Marlon? Well, not much, except maybe, uh, Day of four off next week to attend the trial. What? To observe, watch, learn. No! I have to be in court myself, so I can't spare you. Who is everyone? Besides me. Someone in the woolly either. Uh, Will said something about going laser blasting. Someone could have told me. Probably thought you were oh, busy. Yeah. I we didn't think. Yeah! Will you stop? Don't believe this. Paddy! Stop firing! Where are you? I'm up here. I've shot everyone about five times over. No one's even got me yet. Yet? <laughs> you could shoot me, or you could join me. breathing room in here either, isn't there? I like to think of it as cosy. <laughs> you <laughs> Been looking for you. Thanks. So what's wrong? Have you any idea how hard it is being an orphan at my age? Well, people think of orphans as little kids with big sad eyes. But it hurts just as much when you're 18. You've got Mum. Great. And you've got me. What are we going to do? Nothing. I mean about Terry. I'm not happy with him staying. He's a prat. And the way it was with Trisha, I don't think I could handle coming down and seeing his ugly face every morning. There's nothing we can do about it. It's what Viv wants. She always does exactly what she wants in her fault for anybody else. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm not standing for it. Lose yourself. Why are you in the mood with me? I'm not. Yes, you are. I haven't done anything wrong. Of course you have. We both have. How messed up is our family? You couldn't even have a Christmas meal in peace. I can't believe you tried to kiss me. I can't believe I let you. For God's sake, Scott! What do we think we were doing? Cheers, man. Oh, thanks, love. Not working tonight? Nah, I called in sick. And are you? Oh, it must be. I'm actually considering taking a job at post office. With Viv? Yeah, well, she asked. I said I'd think about it. 
Yeah, you want to do that and think hard. Because Viv Windsor comes with a lot of baggage and you've already proved you can't carry it for the long haul. Well, she don't like that. Of course not. She'd tell you that, did she? Aye. Maybe you're right. Next time, I'm going to wait for you where we were hiding. Yeah, yeah. I'll get the drinks. So you should, you lost. Oh, who won, Rachel? No, I'm getting these drinks in my Graham. I came joint last. <laughs> Trisha won. No one even shot her once. <laughs> uh, uh, except me. Yeah, and I'll never forgive you for that. I thought we were a team. <laughs> well, we, we are a team. We're a good team, but I, you just need to bring down a peg or two. It was a good laugh, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it made me feel like a kid again. <laughs> well, maybe we should do something a bit more adult, like a club. Yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow, then, we can meet in here, go into Leeds for a meal, then check out a club. Yeah. But don't you think we're a bit old for a club? Well, you might be, but it's ages since I've had a bit of a boogie. <sighs> well, well, I don't... I'm not much of a dancer, really. Oh, Graham Clark, you've actually admitted to something you're not very good at. But don't worry too much. Uh, we won't make fun of you. Much. <laughs> Paddy seems to have got over our man, eh? Looks like he's getting a bit of help from Turner's young lass. Hmm? You reckon? Mm -hmm. Them too. She wouldn't touch him with someone else's barge, Paul. Tasty young thing like her. Tasty, is she? Hmm? Well, well yeah, you know. In a china doll kind of way. Not like you, my lovely. Who is down to earth beauty personified. Thanks, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it were nice of Butch to look after Belle for us, isn't it? I think he's quite tame with her. He's not the only one. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, it were a bolt out of the blue lace of that. <laughs> But I've never been smacked round the chops by summer so wonderful. <laughs> I'm right, proud of you, Dad. <laughs> Goodbye for a bit too much to drink. It was just a bit of fun. I'm not blaming you. Well, not entirely, but I can't help thinking about my dad. Lying there and needing me. Where was I? With you? I want way to know. I could see what was coming. I should have just gone home. And then it had never have happened and maybe I'd found Dad in time. The police said that his head injuries were so bad that he wouldn't have survived whatever time we found him. We'll never know, though, will we? I'm sorry if I'm a bit off with you, but when I see you, I'm appalled at us both. What are you doing? Nothing. Didn't you just hear what I said? Yeah. So why keep pushing it, Scott? I'm not a conquest. Don't try and smooth talk me. I'm your sister. I know that. And I can also say that you're upset. So I want to hug you as my sister. Well, don't. Because I don't need your hugs. And I don't need Viv. You're a bunch of takers. And just being in the same room as you makes me feel ill. Kelly! 